a Venom or Carnage inspired workers would be cool. You know, um, I think with a lot of stuff like that, you have copyright concerns, but like, if you could get the rights, that would be phenomenal. I definitely, okay, wait, Venom, and like the Sam Raimi movies, Venom is the one that's like, is that Spider-Man 3? I feel like it, it's gotta be. And that was my favorite Spider-Man movie. I'm not kidding. It was as a kid. What was your favorite movie in uh, grade school? Oh, Spider-Man 3. <laughs> I know that I joke a lot. I made the joke about Avatar The Last Airbender being a really good um, live action film, but like, I actually genuinely unabashedly loved Spider-Man 3 when I grew up, so. Uh, Spider-Man 3 sucks. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. It was, apparently I have like, um, back in the day, I don't know what other countries were even provinces do but like you graduate in like grade eight here so i have like a grade eight uh <laughs> why am i telling this i have like um what is it called uh you have photos in it why is my brain not working um yearbook i have a yearbook and like you had to write different blurbs about yourself and in that list my favorite movie was spider-man 3 so there you go it's written it's law when i was 13. disgusting <laughs> the last airbender is just wrong i agree with you i've never seen it i never will it doesn't exist it's like one of those things it's like season nine of scrubs what you there was just rumors right like it doesn't actually it doesn't actually exist anyway too many cooks in the mix for spider-man 3 that's true fair enough anyway <laughs> i should probably talk about some more food <laughs> taylor lost all movie credibility were you here when i talked about where did i put it when I revealed that I own cats on DVD, I feel like that right there. If you ever disagree with anything that I say, just remember that I own a physical copy of the movie Cats. And you'll feel better about yourself. And if you agree with anything I say, just remember, I own cats on DVD. You should be concerned. So double-edged sword right there. Anyway, I don't know where it went. It, just, it literally disappeared but that's fine. <laughs> the new one? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The classic Taylor Swift one with Jason Derulo and all of that fun stuff. Phenomenal movie to watch with friends and laugh at. <laughs> Disturbing. It was $5 on Walmart, okay? It's one of those things where it's a really good meme watch. Anyway, we'll carry on with ourselves. <laughs> Asking for answers and she's straight talking about stupid movies i know my friend i'm sorry i'm so sorry oh someone is now talking about cat still so clearly i have one ally with me here in my <laughs> my love-hate relationship with that movie it's so bad it's so bad like it's so bad i remember being in the movie theater and just like looking at the person beside me who i went to go see it with and just being like is this real life is this just fantasy am i dreaming because it definitely felt like one of those fever dreams that you have where you wake up and like nothing makes sense and like you spend your morning trying to feed a tornado spaghetti in your kitchen because you need to do that otherwise the queen of england will die like that kind of like fever dream level of insanity anyway <laughs> well 